Welcome to the BPMI Drywall Plug and FireGuard Plug Employee Product Knowledge Training. When you've completed the video, you will be familiar with the newest and only permanent drywall repair product that returns the structural integrity to the damaged area. The drywall plug and fire guard plug come in two sizes. There is the small 3 and 7 8 inch diameter and the larger 6 and 7 8 inch diameter. Both are a round piece of either half inch or 5 8 inch thick drywall adhered to a special type of taping paper. The paper is sanded on both sides exposing the fibers to allow the compound to grab and hold on to it. The paper is also perforated with hundreds of small pin size holes to allow the joint compound to soak through it. Together, these features ensure a stronger bond to a new drywall and painted drywall surfaces. Here are some of the tools and other materials that consumers will need. You will need a trowel, which can either be metal or plastic. Either works fine. A cutting tool is also needed. A common utility knife, or, for faster results, a drywall saw. You will need drywall joint compound. Make sure the container says joint compound. Do not use paste, spackling paste, or lightweight compound. Make sure you have a writing tool like a pencil, pen, or crayon. Drywall sandpaper will also be needed, and if your walls are textured, spray texture in a can will also be needed. Once you have these items, make sure you know what size drywall plug you will need to make the repair. Larger is always better, so if you're not certain on whether the small plug will work, go with the larger size. Once you've made the determination which plug to use, take the foam packaging template and place it over the damaged area. Trace a circle using your writing tool. With the utility knife, carefully score the drywall and gradually increase the depth until the circle is removed. For faster results, use a drywall saw and cut along the outside of the circle drawn. Take your hand and clear away any loose paper and drywall that is left over. Test the plug to make sure the hole is big enough. In some cases, you may need to slightly enlarge the hole so the plug fits in smoothly. It is very important to use joint compound. Do not use paste, spackling, spackling paste, or lightweight compound as these were not meant to hold the integrity of the wall. Lay the plug paper side down on a flat surface. Apply a generous amount of compound along the edge of the drywall circle. Also, coat the paper with a thin layer of compound to reduce the possibility of bubbles forming during the installation process. You cannot use too much compound, so be generous. Insert the plug into the hole and trowel out the excess compound moving from the center of the plug to the outer edge until the paper is smooth against the surface of the wall. If bubbles appear, lift the paper and add more compound and trowel out the excess. No need to wait. Immediately apply more compound covering the entire paper of the plug. For best results, apply in a circular motion and smooth to the best of your ability. Allow to dry, sand smooth, texture if needed, and then paint. For the FireGuard plug, there are just two additions to the installation that must be pointed out to the consumer. After you cut along the outside of the line drawn, apply joint compound to the inside of the cut hole. Finally, apply a thin coat to the back of the drywall plug to maximize fire rating standards. The once damaged area of the wall will now be as structurally sound as it was prior to being damaged. The fire guard plug has a specific market. Besides residential garages and ceilings between floors and multi-story homes, 5 8 inch drywall is used in all commercial locations, such as hospitals, apartments, townhomes, office buildings, schools, dorms, restaurants, and resorts. The fire guard plug works anywhere that a commercial application is required. 
Here's a burn test conducted by the executives and engineers of BPMI. We did two separate tests on two separate sheets of drywall. On the left, we installed a fire guard plug, as directed, into a 7-inch hole cut into a 5 8 inch sheet of drywall. On the right, we took two 5 8 inch drywall sheets that were seamed together as instructed by state code. After 10 minutes, the exterior paper is flaking away and the flame is starting to penetrate. After 13 minutes, the seamed sheets on the right are starting to smoke. After 16 minutes, look at the right side of the screen and you can see that flames are coming through the seamed sheets. Two minutes after, at 18 minutes into the berm, flames can be seen coming through the plug repair. Under the same conditions and heat temperatures, the fire guard plug exceeded the burn time of the seamed boards by approximately two minutes. The fire guard plug maintains the fire rating in firewalls. So what this means to someone living in an apartment, condo, dorm, or townhome is now, instead of repairing the area from stud to stud, a small hole repair using the fire guard plug now minimizes the work and stays within the building code. Good for the contractor to increase production, great for the do-it-yourself who is usually unfamiliar with the state code and the need to maintain the fire rating in a commercial building. Customers have asked, why cut such a large hole when my hole is smaller? The easiest way to answer is to let them know that drywall fractures when being broken or smashed. Even though the damage on the front may look small, on the back of the board, the damage is much larger. All of the damaged drywall needs to be cut away. This not only includes the obvious hole, but the fractured drywall that can't be seen. In this example, the template is almost too small and borders on needing the larger plug. Yes, the drywall plug may cost a few dollars more, but the intent should be to make a permanent repair that will bring back the integrity of the wall and not just hide the damage. Finishing the top coat is also easier with the drywall plug. Most mesh screens need more than two coats to hide the thickness of the screen. The drywall plug only needs one. This is a plastic drywall anchor, great for securing pictures and heavy objects to the wall. Should the circumstance arise where an anchor is attempted to be inserted into an area that was repaired with a wall patch, the damage will reveal itself and most likely increase in size. The plastic anchor cannot penetrate the metal screen. Inserting an anchor into an area where the drywall plug is used has no effect on the damaged area. The area can be used as if it had never been damaged before. The primary placement location of the drywall plugs should be in the paint section near the other wall patches. If a location on the shelf has not yet been assigned, some locations have requested side stacks. The side stacks are free to the store and should be placed directly under the wall patches closest to the racking upright. The secondary location for the drywall plugs to be displayed is in the building materials department. Along with the drywall tools and accessories, a second side stack can be requested. However, because of the constant forklift traffic, tearaway display boxes are usually sent to hold the product on the shelf. Please make sure the plugs are placed in both of these sections to maximize sales potential. In summary, you can hide the damage with one of the many types of screen patches currently available. Or, you can make a permanent repair using the drywall plug or fire guard plug depending on the area that has been damaged. The drywall plug. For residential walls made of half inch thick drywall, such as bathrooms, entryways, bedrooms, family rooms, game rooms, home offices, and more. The fire guard plug. Good for commercial locations such as hospitals, hotels, apartments, condos, townhomes, restaurants, schools, city halls, and more. Only the drywall plug and the fire guard plug are made of real drywall to fix drywall. Permanent drywall repair that brings the structural integrity back to the damaged area. 
We at BPMI appreciate your time to learn the simplicity of the drywall and fire guard plugs, as well as being able to now offer a permanent repair to your customers' damaged drywall problems. Remember that BPMI is based in Oregon, and all of our products are made in the USA with American-made materials and packaging. To finish this training course, please complete the quiz below.